Okay, let's get practical for just a minute. Slope isn't just some academic exercise that mathematicians have come up with. Slope in real world situations often represents something uh, important in the actual physical world. And in this case, we've got a graph here. We don't have x and y axes. We have t down here, and that's time measured in seconds. And vertically, we have x, which is position or distance measured in meters. And we've got some values for time and distance in this table here. We're told to plot the points and sketch the line, find the slope of the line, and explain what the slope means. OK, this will become clear as we do it. Let's first plot these points. At 2 seconds, we have a distance of 10 meters, so you can plot a point right there. At 4 seconds, we have a distance of 15. These are easy to plot. 6 seconds and 20 meters, and 8 seconds and 25 meters. So our line looks like this. Nice straight line. Okay, and let's pick two points. I'm just going to pick this one here and this one here. Let's think about the rise and the run. There's the rise and there's the run. And you can see if we go from 10 to 25, that's a rise of 15. You could just count them. Each of these is 5. So that's 5, 10, 15. Or you could look at these numbers and do 25 minus 10. But anyway, the rise is 15. And then the run, you can see we went 2 seconds to 8 seconds. The run is 6. You see on the, the time axis down here, each of these divisions is 2. So going across here is 2, 4, 6. So the rise over the run, we said the rise was 15, and put the units here, that's 15 meters. Our distance here in this case is measured in meters. And the run is not just 6, it's 6 seconds. And those units matter. And 15 over 6 that's, uh, let's see, both of those are divisible by 3, so that's the same as uh, 5 over 2, which is 2.5. You could write it as 5 over 2, and we still have the meters over seconds, or 2.5 meters per second. And you can probably recognize this unit, meters per second, as a unit for speed or velocity. So when they say explain what the slope means, that's what the slope means in this case. The slope of a position versus time graph is the velocity, because position here is measured in meters, and time is measured in seconds. And when we do rise over run, we're dividing meters by seconds. So meters per second, that gives us velocity. So the slope is 2.5 meters per second, and that represents the velocity of this object. If this object started at this position at this time and moved at a steady speed to this position at that time, then it was moving at a speed of 2.5 meters per second. Let's look at one more example. Same, uh, same task here. We're told to plot the points and sketch the line, find the slope of the line, and explain what the slope means. So this is number of barrels and the cost in dollars. And um, oh, it doesn't say it on the page, but we're talking about the barrels of oil here. This is barrels of oil, the number of, number of barrels of oil. So when there's five barrels, that, that costs $600. So we'll plot a point a little bit above the 500. And 10 barrels of oil is $1,200. And 15 barrels of oil is $1,800. So we get a line about like this, and this should make sense. More barrels of oil will cost more dollars. Then we're told to find the slope of the line. So let's pick two points. I'll pick these two out here on the extremes, and let's think about the rise and the run. And those points don't perfectly line up on the grid lines, but that's okay. We can see the rise here. We started out at 600 right there and went up to 1800. And I know that because I'm given these numbers right there. So the rise, in this case, is 1,800 minus 600. So the rise is 1,200. And that's the cost in dollars. Okay, That's the cost in dollars. So $1,200. Let's um, 
Let's write it that way. Put a little dollar sign there. And then the run, we went over, we started at 500 and went over, or not 500, 5, started at 5 and went over to 15. So the run is 10, and that's 10 barrels. 10 barrels. So the slope will be rise over run. That's $1,200. I'll put the dollar sign out front right here. $1,200 over 10 barrels. Now, 1,200 over 10, that reduces. 1,200 over 10 reduces to 120, but then we're still left with dollars up top and barrels down below. So this is $1,200 per barrel. And you can recognize that as a price, the price per barrel. That would be the price of oil based on that data. The price of oil changes from day to day and from month to month, but based on that data, the cost of oil is $120 per barrel. So if you want to answer the question, the slope of the line, well, that's it, $120 per barrel, and what it means is the price of oil.